predicting the end of the European debt crisis, or so we thought. Instead, it has reached a whole new level. This morning, it is raging in Rome. Italy, remember, is the world's eighth largest economy. It has a debt load that is bigger than the size of Spain's debt, Portugal's debt, Greece's debt, and Ireland's debt combined. The big concern, as you said, Eric, is that it's too big to fail, but perhaps it's too big to bail out. Michael McKee, our economics editor, here to help explain what all this means and why this is potentially the scariest level of the European debt crisis to date. Well, here's what happened a little bit of a problem. I sat down with Bob Mundell. He is one of the fathers of the Euro, Columbia University professor, helped conceptualize the idea of the currency. He told me, and remember, this was very, very early on in the crisis, that if Italy gets dragged into the crisis, then he has some real worries about the viability of the Euro and whether it could survive. And that is really what is at stake here when we are talking about the third biggest economy in the Euro. Is it fair to say that the $1.4 trillion bazooka about the impact in financial markets here. This potentially is the biggest threat to the global economy right now. Yes. With, without a doubt. Let, let's hear in the mark from the markets yesterday that invent, investors wanted to see some change at the top. He was not pushing through the reforms that they were demanding. But I was in Italy last week and I spoke to a lot of folks and they said, look, if Berlusconi goes, which clearly he needs to, it's not clear who would replace him and whether that person would be able to push through these reforms. It's a massive economy and there are some major structures. All right. Let, look, we, let's, let's hold off on the conversation about Italy for the moment because we need to do a little more reporting and find out exactly what's taking place on the ground. In the meantime, Sarah, we're going to talk about some of the other big news that we're watching this morning. And Italy clearly dominating our attention, but there are a number of other things that we need to talk about. Yes, I want to tell you about hedge fund manager Bill Ackman. We know he's betting big that Hong Kong will change its currency peg to the dollar. He made that very clear a few weeks ago. Well, Hong Kong's chief executive, Donald Tsang, told me that Ackman's bet is going to be a big loser. Well, I think he's going to lose a lot of money on that. Uh, I think it was not going to happen. Hong Kong has been... He was Hong Kong's finance secretary during the 1998 Asian financial crisis, held off an attempt to break the dollar peg then. So now it's Hong Kong versus Bill Ackman, Scarlett. Well, meantime,